Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. This is Ask Rudiger. We gave you guys at home the chance to ask this man absolutely anything on the Sky Sports social media channels. Tony, I believe there were so many questions sent in. You were actually trending on Twitter yesterday. Ask Rudiger. Are you excited? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Right, let's have some fun. Okay, the first one. If you could partner any central defender in football history, who would you pick as your partner? Ah, uh, I would go with Pepe. Pepe? Yes, From Pepe. Real Madrid days, Portugal yes, Pepe. Yes, yes. Why Pepe? Well, because like the way the way this guy is playing, like, I like it. Yeah. It's like uh, it's always at the edge, sometimes a bit over motivated. <laughs> but, but this is the way I like. I, I, I like him very much as a player. Like uh, like people just see like the aggressiveness in him, but it's like honestly like the way he plays football. I mean, it's class. Oh, we'll go with Pepe. Yeah, he's got a good mixture of sort of aggressiveness, but then calmness on the ball. Yes. A little bit reminiscent of yourself, maybe. Maybe, but uh, <laughs> but still, Pepe is like we have to I have to put him high. Okay, Pepe has some partnership. Rudiger and Pepe. Okay, the next one. Who is your best friend at Chelsea? Matteo Kovacic. Matteo Kovacic. Why Matteo? No, like uh, we speak German together, and uh, like our wives know each other, and. Uh, like, yeah, I hang out with him the most, so like, yeah, I have good banter with him and yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, what a lovely guy. And also a lot of people were saying, Agent Rudiger, Agent Tony, about uh, when you obviously spoke to, I'm guessing you spoke to Timo and Kai before they moved over from Germany. So there's a little German connection forming at Chelsea. Did you speak to them before they arrived? Oh, of course I did. Of course, I, I think uh, I played I played my role in the... <laughs> Agent like, Tony. Uh, <laughs> Yes, like uh, obviously I'm good. Like I'm good with a lot of players, but you asked me like with the best. I said Kovacic, but I'm good with e everyone. Like to be honest. Uh, another popular question here, Tony. Who is the toughest striker that you faced in the Premier League? Honestly, like it was for me. It was Kun Aguero. Oh really? Yes. Why Kun? Because like uh, like obviously like uh, big legs. <laughs> like, his calf is like the same as his uh, upper leg and uh, it's like low gravity like very strong on the ground and uh, like like if you give him one inch like he can punish you for this so like i would go i would go with him there's obviously many great strikers in the premier league but if i have to go for one i go for Kunagero. do you think it's more difficult because he's a little bit smaller and he's a little bit lower center of gravity and get under the arms exactly hard to play against? exactly exactly that makes him like dangerous and he's like uh, on the ground like good quick movements like very like, oof, very decisive. Like, I was impressed. Like, I like at the beginning I didn't thought, but then when I looked at him, like, and he's like a guy who doesn't need many chances to score. Yeah, and obviously you played against some other amazing players, Leo Messi, I presume, Cristiano Ronaldo. What was it like playing against against those two? Uh, these two, they, these two is different level. Like, <laughs> from like, yeah. from like those two, they're in their own world, and then then come come we. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, this one's a really interesting one, I think. Is it true that Thomas Tuchel actually tried to sign you when he was PSG manager? Yes, it's true. It's very true? Yeah, it's true. So what was the conversation? Did you speak to him then? And how happy are you he's now here? Yeah, like uh, obviously like uh, like uh, like beginning of uh, last season, I was uh, not favorite. So like, uh, so there was an option. Like I was thinking about it to leave him. Uh, obviously like PSG was my number one target and uh, didn't happen for the, these and these reasons, and uh, yeah, at the end of the day, he came here. Yeah, you must be very happy he's here. What's he like to play under? What's he like to train under? Because I've heard a few stories that in training, you know, small balls, he does some quite unique sessions. Yeah, like uh, his, his sessions is mostly football based, very football based, and uh, like he has his way of uh, doing things. And uh, it's like, uh, it's like I would say, like he's almost like someone who likes everything perfect. Okay, perfectionist, yeah. So, and um, yeah, and it can also get, because he has the, this type of mind, it can also get a bit louder sometimes if things are not going the way he wants. But I think this is just like determinated. It's like, he, know, he knows what he wants. He knows uh, how to get us successful. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you have to follow the lane. So have you been on the end of one of the Thomas Tuchel shouts yet? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you were boxing, who would win? You or N'Golo Kante? <laughs> <laughs> ah god i think this this match would never happen because it's in, like to punch this guy it would be like something <laughs> that, rude that would no that would be crime to be honest like no oh, but if i had to give him one yes i would give him a quick one <laughs> so that he don't wake up <laughs> so, no, I don't know, this would be a crime like, like but i i would beat him of course 
What a, you think you beat him? Definitely, no oh. doubt about it. What about his energy? You know, get under the punches. He's quite small. No, he's qu he, he might be quick, but if I catch him, it would be it would be finished. <laughs> <laughs> you can't punch him, Golo Kante. Though. What's he like as a guy? Because obviously we see him on the pitch. We see him off the pitch. He seems so nice, so humble. No, he is he is one of a kind. Like I never, yeah. I think that I I don't know anyone in football or any new anyone like who's like him. Like just humble, just like. He is how he is. Like he comes up with the mini and everything. Like this is how this is how he is. Like, <laughs> what his car is a little mini yeah, Cooper. Just yeah, drives like, in simple. Simple, calm, and uh, like since since four years he have that car. You know, so, since <laughs> I've been here. Nah, he's like a great person, like a top guy, and uh, like uh, like the way he performs. Like I never see something either. Like yeah. that. like the energy this guy have, and uh, poof. Crazy. Not bad to be playing behind him then. I guess he, he oh, helps you out a lot. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Like this is like, bah. like this guy have lungs for for six people. <laughs> oh, it's so true. It's so true. Uh, okay, are you the fastest player at Chelsea? Is the next question. Oh, like it's like Timo is like I think like when you accelerate starting, I think there's there's a lot of players who are maybe faster than me. But I think when we are in speed, yeah, I think I would go for myself or Romelu Lukaku. Romelu as well, since he's arrived, yeah. you, you, you've noticed he's, he's quick. Yeah. What about if we were going from one end of the pitch to the other? You think you and I Rom? Beat, I would beat Rom. So you're going, you're the fastest? Because yes. I have to say, I saw a statistic this weekend that you were the fastest player in the league so. for a sprint this weekend. So you're backing yourself over anybody at Chelsea? Yes. Okay. Like when it comes to, like how you said, from one point to the end, yes, I, there's, there's no, there, I think there's nobody who can beat me. I love it. I love the confidence as well. I love the confidence. Uh, the next one, what would be your karaoke song? What's that? It's like if you were in a bar and you had a microphone, you were singing a song, oh what would God. you pick? What would I pick? Okay, but what type of music is uh, Well, that? I've seen your initiation song. I saw I saw the, the Lil Wayne track that you, you, you yeah. busted out. I'm a young money millionaire, drop in Nigeria. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, but I will not, I will not, I will not rep this uh, because uh, I did it many times. Yeah, but yeah, many times. I will do, I will do that, I will do that. I will do you would just do that. What yeah. other musicians are in the sort of Spotify playlist at the moment? There's a lot of like Afrobeat act, uh, artists, like yeah. Davido, like uh, Burna Boy, like Whiskey, like those those ones I like more because it's like you know like it makes me happy like there's a lot of rhythm and everything and like makes you want to dance and everything like this is good yeah you love the dancing and anything that's got a bit of rhythm i sense tony yeah, that you quite enjoy nah, a bit of burner boy location sort of vibes 100%, 100%. yeah uh, okay we spoke about lukaku just a second ago so this next one is about rom uh who is stronger you or lukaku so you think you're faster than him but are you stronger than him ah, come on well, this this question is a bit uh there's no respect of course he's stronger <laughs> yeah like, so he's in strong, the gym yeah. on the bench press you, you're back in rom 100%. Like, like, look at the guy, look at me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, rum, rum, every day. Every what about day, in an arm wrestling match? Ah, rum every day. Like, rum every single day. Like, How's yeah. he been since he's arrived? Obviously, you've spoken about him being very fast. But what's he like as a guy since he's come into the changing room? No, I know him, I know him a bit longer than, uh, than now. And uh, he's, uh, he's a guy like very like calm and everything. He's like, you can have serious talk with him. You can, you can have a lot of jokes with him. Like uh, personality wise, you see he has he has grown. He has grown as a person. Mm. You can see, and uh, yeah, and there's a lot of obviously a lot of confidence, but like uh, not like arrogance, but good confidence. And yeah, this is what you need uh, at this type of level where he is. He wants to be one of the top strikers. I think you need to have that type of confidence. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people say that he is like a big personality. He's very friendly. Is that something you've really noticed since, yes, since he's yes, come yes, in? Yes, yes, directly talks like doesn't. It doesn't have like this, like, okay, I'm new, maybe I just reverse a little bit. Like, of course, they, they should be, I think, like a little bit of like, hey, come on, like, hold back. But uh, when it comes to game, I think this, you have to take it away and show your personality because this is what we need. And how has he been in training? How have you stopped Romelu Lukaku? Because we've seen him be a problem already in the Premier League. How do you stop him? Oh, this is a good question. You know, like... Any tips? <laughs> well, like, uh, like... Uh, I will, not, I will not give tips because like, uh, <laughs> because he's <laughs> because then others they will take it no but I think uh, like uh, to stop him poof yeah, hit the gym maybe hit the gym know. maybe yeah and we saw you give him a little slap on the back of the head after the Arsenal game is that what is that was we saying in the change room about that no like I think like we didn't spoke about it I think so that that tells me he didn't even feel it <laughs> it's too strong so like uh, like yeah even the head is so strong so <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny clue I've seen that clue that's, that's a classic uh, okay this one is um, 
<laughs> it's about the face mask. Did the face mask give you superpowers? And he goes on to say, your vibes in that were immaculate. Yeah, like uh, a lot of people told me, like, yeah, why not wear the mask again or something like this? Like, I don't know, like, the mask was very good, like, um, yeah. Good luck charm as well. Ah, but not good luck. Like, I needed it because my jaw was broken, so <laughs> <laughs> I needed it. And yeah, like, uh, yeah, I don't know if it gave me superpowers, like, but I had a good time with this mask and, uh, yeah, I will always keep, I will always keep it, like, in good memories. Yeah, so is it at home, is it somewhere somewhere safe? It's, it's, here, it's here at Coburn, but I would take it probably home and uh, I would just you know, I would let my son play with it. And was it a fully broken jaw? Or what, yeah, what like was uh, the... here, like here on this side was Cheap completely broken, jo exactly. And uh, like it happened against Madrid and yeah, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't open my mouth really and everything. So I had to wear it. So how much pain were you in playing in the Champions League final then? Obviously it must still have been causing a bit of discomfort. Or? Yeah, like uh, sometimes like when the ball or somebody hit here again, like it was uncomfortable. But I think at the end of the day, like uh, in such an occasion, you don't care. Like, like you just keep going, yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, this one, a lot of people were talking about Tammy Abraham. Obviously, he's gone to Rome. You played for Rome previously. Did you speak to him before that move? Hey, he asked me about it, how it is and everything. And uh, I think for him, that's a big move because uh, he never moved out of England. Mm. He always been here with his family and everything. So this is a new episode for him. But I think for him, it can be good because he can, uh, first of all, like this transfer of, I think, 40 million or something mm. like this. That's a huge transfer in Rome. Like that's yeah. a big transfer and uh, like uh, obviously the expectations because obviously he won the Champions League, he won the Super Cup, they are high. As a person he can grow because a new language, that's a new challenge. Yeah. So and uh, I heard English people, they're not so good with different languages. <laughs> we're not, so we're not, like, I can't speak any. So like he can show that he can, he can yeah. learn Italian because I think this will make him grow as a person and uh, obviously he started well with two assists and uh, Hope he can continue to score goals. Perfect. Okay, we've got a couple more then. This one. If you weren't a footballer, what would you be? Uh, like, like, you know, like when you're a child, you have yeah. like dream. I wanted to be a pilot, but the problem is... Well, airplane pilot. Yeah, but these <laughs> days, like, I have like a bit, I'm a bit afraid of height. So, <laughs> so you're no pilot in so, there. So like, I, I think I would go for a doctor. A doctor? Yes. I like that though. That's a very, yeah, very intelligent person yeah, to be a doctor. Yeah, but the thing is, I, I cannot see blood, so it's also. <laughs> <laughs> How could you be a doctor then? You can't see blood, Tony. Uh, like, uh, if I go for one, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> a bloodless doctor. Oof. Yeah, doctor, doctor, see doctor. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, this one was sent in, and it's so popular. Where did you learn to dance? I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a good, good. You're dancer. a good dancer, Tony. No, no, no. You're a great honestly, dancer. Honestly, like, honestly, like, I just, I just, I just, like, like, for example, like the last event, Super Cup. Yeah. It's just like taking a laugh, you know, like it's just like making people laugh. I just danced like to the to the beat, to the rhythm, and it's not like that. It's good, you know, like. It's just like, yeah, fun, you know, like, if people laugh, ah, it's good, you know. Can like, you teach us some moves? Nah, nah, nah. Too nervous, too nervous. Don't get nervous nah, now the cameras are turned on, Tony. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm no good at dancing. <laughs> please not, please not. <laughs> It's good, it's good. I'm tired, I like my hamstring. Ah, uh, <laughs> get the excuse in early. Have you got like one go-to move that after winning every trophy is the Antonio Rudiger special? Special, what did I do in the Super Cup? What did I do? I did. Yeah. <laughs> nice and oh, simple, nice. just a bit of rhythm. A bit of rhythm and Tony's a bit, moving. A bit, a bit, a bit. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Tony. No Have a great problem, season. Man. Thank you very much. Stay safe.